Something else that is really big in this community is baseball. Now, America's pop pastime may not be as popular in other parts of the country, but in Dubois, it is the sport of choice. And yet, for years and years, the high school field here was in disrepair. In fact, I want to show you some of the pictures. It really was little more than a muddy mess, not a safe place to play. And fans of the game didn't even like coming here. Well, wait until you see what it looks like today. Night and day. We, we basically went from the worst field in District 9 to the best field in District 9, but uh, big improvement. <laughs> Dubois High School baseball coach Todd Steiner is all smiles these days. Why? Welcome to Showers Field. It's now the pride of the city, but it hasn't always been this way. Just ask Merrill. He played here years ago. <laughs> I would imagine probably the 60s and 70s I played there. Didn't look like this, huh? Uh, no. And there's no comparison. I mean, back then they just barely, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not nice as it is today. Gamey Showers built the park in the late 40s, and it was the place to play ball back then. Gamey's son John remembers when the field hosted teams from across the country for a Labor Day tournament. They had 36 teams that come from Kentucky, New York, Virginia, Ohio, and it was a big outing for starting in. Actually, it had to start first week of August because there's so many teams. The field fell on hard times, and after Gamey's death in 1975, became neglected. Not very much had been done. It didn't take long for the city park, a short walk away, to become the best venue in town. But the problem was high school kids didn't play on it. And it, it, it was kind of disappointing coming to here uh, because it was such, you would have a nicer field when you were 12 years old. So city leaders decided last year that something needed to be done. Everybody is coming together. This is what it looked like in October. This is what it looks like today. Shocked, I think is the best word to describe it. Uh, the overall appearance just is so much better. <laughs> and other than that, the kids, the, the excitement is the biggest thing because they love being here, they love being on the field, they're excited to play. Uh, Newfield's pretty nice, a lot of money sunk into it. Uh, everything's pretty good. A lot of fun to play the infield. Infield's pretty nice, outfield. A little bit swampy, but it gets a job done. Huh? And it's nowhere near complete. A 500 seat grandstand is expected to be installed behind home plate. A larger parking lot and seats along the walkway behind the stadium also due to go in. Yeah, so it's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> things pop up all the time. The LED sign is new today. <laughs> I get out. Yeah, the foul pole is new today. So things we come over and we don't know what's going on now. And new fans filling the field. A lot more than last year, especially first game. First game, there are a ton of people here. It's packed, actually. Usually doesn't happen for a high school game. So, Baseball still runs in the Showers family blood. John Showers' grandson plays at this field. John says he knows his dad would be so proud. You know what? If my dad saw this field, I think that sun would be shining as much as his face would be shining. He, he loved his baseball. His first love, besides his family, was baseball. Now, the community is really excited to get a look at the finished product. That is going to take some time. We just talked with the Redevelopment Authority yesterday. They told us that a new set of plans has been drawn up, and they hope to make that full vision of reality available to the public soon. We